Yo, I think this week we got a pretty good one. There's TNF, this fitted's coming out that I think is solid. And I think it's a pretty good week for Supreme. Week seven, we got the TNF collab this week. Some other miscellaneous hit or miss items. And we're gonna talk about it here in this video. If y'all do end up enjoying, leave a like on it down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and wouldn't draw more of this type of content. And hey, let's not waste too much time and get straight to it. For this video, we're going to sit down on the green screen. Then after we're done, we'll come back here to the past and recap some of my favorite items. So let's go ahead and sit down and get into it. So here's the drop list for October 13th. All the way at the top, we got the money box logo. This one comes on like five to six colors. And honestly, the four on the left are my favorite. I'm fucking with that tannish harvest gold type vibe. That blue one, the green one, and the black. I'd probably cop any of those colors. And I feel like that's what i'm end up going for red is okay but i don't typically wear red hats that's just me you feel me maybe even the green but the red the only one i wouldn't cop is that white one that shit is gonna get sweaty as fuck like nah we good on that we got the steep tech fleece the fleece low key is clean bro and that brown color i'm feeling it i feel like if i could cop that one i'm down but then again it has that big ass gator that i just peeped right now with this shit on you dead ass gonna look like a thumb bro like no funny shit tell me not you're gonna look like a big ass thumb with this bitch on like zipped up all the way to the top you can't even take it off like I think I'm straight on this one if it didn't have that big ass shit on the front I think I'd probably cop but as is, they could keep that shit, not gonna lie to y'all. We got the 700 fill puffy. This is basically a trash bag, bro, in different colors. It has that shiny ass material. If you get the black one, that's dead ass a hefty trash bag, bro. For that price that you gonna pay is not worth it. It's like five, $600, who knows? I'ma pass on that shit. Let me know if y'all copping the doo, doo brown or the black, or are you into this little design that they got going on? This woven keychain with the little nose ring on it, I think it's clean you feel me if it would have had that black and white color i would have wanted it more because my keychain would probably get hella dirty not gonna lie to y'all this is clean though low key if the price is right i might have to pick this bitch up let me know if y'all gonna be going for the woven keychain base layer long sleeve top is actually hard bro i'm fucking with that brown color only bro that one's clean i feel like it's an essential little piece you could freak in the middle of the fall i'm fucking with that one the other one with the ed hardy shit on it i just don't know what type of year of the dragon shit that is let's get up out of there we got the denim camp cap low key there's like these bleached ones which ain't that bad that tannish black brown one probably my favorite then the off-white one is actually not bad that creamy color i feel like that one in person would look beautiful but i probably wouldn't even cop this hat i'm not gonna lie to y'all once again we do got these steep tech gloves come in the same three colors if i were to get these it'll probably be black because ain't nobody trying to free some rainbow gloves with some dragons on it like we good bro maybe the brown once again if you got some beef and brock tims this is perfect to go with it there's the apogee jacket which is probably my favorite piece releasing this week this shit is fire bro fire in the booth Look at the fucking pads on this shit, bro. It's bulletproof. No funny shit. It has the Supreme embossed on the back. This is fire, bro. It has like that bike life padding on the shoulders and on the back. And if I were to get this, it'll probably be black, bro. I'm not slipping on this one. It's a steep tech with subtle different hits to it that makes it different than a regular steep tech. That being said, this is something you get in black, bro. You don't fuck around with this unless you already have a black one, which do you, but I'd personally go for the black if not the brown is still hard though don't get it up shit's clean it has a tightening cord on the neck area i don't know where you wearing these shits to you could low-key go hiking with this shit in the middle of winter you'll be straight this one's hard bro this should be at the top of the list i feel like it's gonna be bread for some reason i don't know why there's the steep tech waist bag this is actually not bad bro it has like a water bottle holder it could open up this has hella pockets now that i'm looking at it this is actually pretty clean it got like this front pocket pouch fucking bottle holder and it still has has another pocket and on the sides right here it has a zip pocket too bro like this shit is non-stop with the pockets but i'm telling y'all bro it's all on the price bro if the price is right we could be talking if this shit is bread they could keep it bro like we good on that rainbow be 
bikini going on. You got the gender reveal color in the middle, tans right there, the little skin tones. Gray one, which is probably my favorite. I think this isn't bad. Who am I kidding, bro? I probably would not buy this shit. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This is a crochet beanie though. So hey, if we trying to get a little crochet vibe, this is clean. Personally, I'd go for the gender reveal color for special occasions, like gender reveals. And the gray one, you feel me? Red one with the pink, that shit crazy, bro. Like walking out with that shit out the house is crazy. That has. Being that Supreme Nike is one of the more hyped releases for the Supreme season. Y'all already know that this week is gonna be hyped and it's gonna sell out. There is some profit to be made. So Addict is gonna be restocking a few copies the night before the drop. So if you guys are interested, sign up for their newsletter on addict.io. Let me run through some of the features that they have to offer. Unlimited tasks on over a hundred plus sites, including hyped resellers like Sneakers, Yeezy Supply, Travis Scott, Supreme, Amam Manier, Kith, and a bunch more. They offer monitors so you don't miss out on potential restocks. Sometimes releases come out of nowhere and you want to make sure you're notified. You can monitor BOGOs, Air Force Ones, shock drops on sneakers. Monitors low-key come clutch on Supreme drops because sometimes items sell out but they restock like within the next hour or so. This will help you cop. They got raffles to maximize your chances, especially for sneakers because when it comes to kicks, entering as many raffles as you can is probably the best thing possible. They got a few other game-changing features like custom push notifications, intensive guides, a one-time fee once you purchase the bot, including any upcoming updates with no renewal fees. They got 24 seven support and an exclusive discord group where they talk about the latest releases, resell estimates, and more. You even have the option to finance addict using Sezzle at checkout. And I'm gonna slap some success on the screen for y'all. Yes, sir. These are some people that cooked up using the bot. They honestly don't even restock often. So if you guys are interested, make sure you sign up for their newsletter, which is going to be at the top of the description. That way you are notified when they do restock prior to this TNF drop. But let's get back to the video. There's these tech fleece pants, three colors, brown being my favorite. That design, bro, I just, I don't understand where it's coming from. I just need to understand who sent it, bro. Like that ass, who sent that shit? Brown book bag, I'm fucking with it. You feel me? It's clean, has the little carry strap on the top, the little convertible book bag right here. I think it's cool. Personally, I've seen better. If I were to get it, it would be the brown color. I feel like if the black one didn't have all the bullshit on it, it would probably be better, but that's not the reality of it. We do got these base layer pants, which is basically some leg warmers, bro. It's gonna be brick. It's low key already heading towards that direction. So these might be needed in the middle of brickness and I'd probably just buy the brown ones. This Ed Hardy shit rubbed me the wrong way this week. I don't know why, but that's how I'm feeling. This preem hooded sweatshirt is coming in like seven colors, has like a collegiate feel to it. And it's a cool play on the nickname preem cause that's what a lot of people call it. So I think it's pretty witty of them, shall I say? <laughs> The fuck? Who am I? I wouldn't pick this shit up. I feel like I haven't seen a solid ass hoodie come out from Supreme yet. I'm waiting for it. The denim baseball jersey isn't bad. It comes in three colors and the cream is probably my favorite. I love how they played with the colors on this one. It gives it a different type of spice. And I also like the fact that it's not white and it's creamy for me. That's probably my favorite part. I just love cream tone. I don't know why. It just is what it is. What I cop, that's a hell no. Nah. I'm good on that shit. Then you got these baggy jeans, bro. Who copping the baggy jeans? Let me know if these on your roster for this week. It has a small ass minuscule, like you could barely see it. Logo right here on the top of the pocket. I don't know who needs to see that, but that's what's coming out. We good on that shit. This small box logo speckle sweater. Honestly, this one's not that bad. Not that bad only in the black but it's not that bad i don't know about the other two colors maybe the creamish with the nah that shit got hella colors in it probably just the black yeah just the black yo got the knee pad pants bro who giving the sloppy top in that shit mm -mm. we good on that shit bro i don't know who's wearing that shit if you're not riding motorcycles which you shouldn't be anyway it's probably brick as fuck for that people still gonna be out here if you're not doing that you wearing these casually some questions that unfold in my head bro capital beanie was supposed to drop last week never dropped it's dropping this week bro yes you heard it here first i'm good on that shit too this beanie's low-key better than this beanie right here there's this brushed flannel and if y'all know me you know that i normally don't fuck with flannels but this one in black is actually giving me kind of a vibe bro like this shit is kind of a vibe in the black simply because it has like a different material it doesn't look like a fucking izod button up you know what i'm talking about beverly hills polo button up with just a regular shit going on some weird ass plaid going on this looks like a heavy 
heavier knit type beat for the material and i feel like it gives it that little bit of spice i don't even care if it doesn't have supreme branding on this one it's more so about the perception of it it has like a thicker wooly type material and i'm fucking with it but i still wouldn't cop i just think it's a contender last up was the elephant short sleeve this shit is everywhere everywhere it doesn't need to be is where it's at i hate the fact that it's so loud if it was the all black color right with the colored elephants this ain't rocket science people i feel like it would have been better that way because the elephant pops more but on the all black you can't even see homie bro it makes no sense but to each his own maybe that's just my opinion he got the bubble coat it's over like nah nah but we good on this shit simply because they bugging on how loud this is but that's pretty much it for the drop list we're gonna get on to a little recap real quick and then we'll get straight up out the building leave a like on this video bro come on show some love and subscribe yo subscribe you subscribe bro subscribe for real for real. subscribe bro it's free it's not costing nothing nothing it's free bro like it's dead ass free comment essential in the comments if you're watching right now for real yo drink some water stop stop the video real quick and drink some water i don't know when the last time you drank water was you should drink some that ass. so let's recap on the items that i'm fucking with first this money box logo has to come home with me in that green the tan goldish color or that blue those are my three favorite and you could also never go wrong with black the fleece was clean especially in that brown color i'm really fucking with the brown it's more subtle more simple and it has that earthy tone for the fall fire the little key ring isn't bad you feel me to add it to your keys or put your keys on this i think it's pretty clean for some reason i'm fucking with the base layer long sleeve in the brown too especially for fall it has the small logos on the front nothing crazy i think it's an essential type item that you could pick up and just wear it here and there without it saying supreme biggest type thing I'm trying to fuck with the waist bag but i feel like this shit looks big i don't know if it's just me if it's not too huge then it's clean especially in the brown and the black i don't know about this big ass print they had going on the book bags are dropping too which i know a lot of people look forward to those i'd probably just pick it up in the brown if i'm keeping it a buck with y'all that multicolor design just isn't for me and the gradient crochet beanie is a hit or miss for a lot of people i feel like in that tan ish color maybe the gray one besides those is looking kind of steep honestly for me this week i feel like it's either the hat the key ring maybe the fleece jacket is looking clean in that brown or the black the pogey jacket i don't know how to say that shit i'm not gonna lie to y'all but it has these big ass pads on the back i feel like this is almost like a tech jacket from north face and i'm fucking with it bro this one is a banger but if y'all enjoyed this video leave a like on it down below subscribe to the channel if you're new and want to draw more this type of content and let me know what you're gonna be going for in the comments as well make sure y'all go ahead and join the discord it's gonna be linked at the top of the description i'm trying to get that shit back active low-key i got a lot of news coming soon i've been working a lot behind the scenes i think i'll go live one of these days and we'll chop it up type shit but yeah with all that being said i'm gonna catch y'all on the next one peace stay up and i'm out